Hello everyone, I'm Kyle Bossman and this is Bossman v. Wozniak, week 50. Week 50 of 52. We have been doing this stream for nearly a year of weeks and we get closer. Sure, we're closer every once in a while, you know, uh, closer and closer, inching toward that goal of 546,145. Of course, uh, Steve Wozniak's score that he submitted to Nintendo Power in 1991 um, under the pseudonym, 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 the pseudonym. Uh, I, I forgot, I gotta start up Tetris. So before we even show off the cart, I mean, I gotta get this running. Dewey D. Truman. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Four months in a row. There we go. So, everyone. We are emulating Tetris. What you see next to me is an emulation on my PC, but we do own the cartridge. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, okay, all right, all right. It was a little loud on my end. Cool. Um, I don't know. Should we just get started, gang? Should I try to put up some scores? Here's a controller. You is bait. Hi, Buffalo. A bit loud for you, too? Okay, good to know. It's not just me. That's about normally where we have it. I think that should be good. I just wanted it super loud for the hype music. Never too old. Seven months in a row. Kyle, you're killing us. Okay, well, you know... You can't hear yes -um quietly. If yes -um is quiet, I'm not doing my job right. Okay, so let's start. Let's start training. Oop, okay, hold on. There's something I gotta do here before we start training. We gotta summon Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt, please come to us. Please help us with our training. Oh, he came. Thank goodness. Okay, here we go. Uh, so what you do is um, you hold down on the D-pad as you press start. And now we're in the hyperbolic time chamber. Now we're getting super speed. Practicing high gravity. Uh, sorry, I gotta do a few more clicks. I need to start the recording. Okay, did that. Okay, we're good. Tierju Engi, 16 months. Okay, also helped me some Usain. I think we're good. All right, click that as well. Blah blah blah. Okay. All right. Um, I would like to do training in B type. Still a little loud on my end. Okay. Let's go to 17. Training at 17. Oof. Okay, 17 is a little too fast. Wasn't ready. Whew! Happy Friday, everybody. Great to have you here on a Friday night, Saturday morning, wherever you are. Thanks for joining us. Ugh, stupid, stupid moves. Okay, let's reset. Okay. Uh, gotta learn not to mash once you get to the higher levels. My impulse is to just go blap, 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 mash them all down. Uh, not the right thing to do. 17, we'll take it. Mm-hmm. Sloppy, but you know what? We'll take that. We'll take that. It was sloppy. Unearned. That was some Sweeney magic. We didn't earn it. But we're not going to turn it down. One more week till the NBA gets fun. What are you referring to? <laughs> I frankly don't know what that means. NHL draft tonight. Okay. Is the NHL draft exciting? I just, I don't feel like there's a big college scene for hockey, you know? NBA free agency, okay, okay. Where all the backstabbing, the jersey burning begins. Level 17, you take you take the big line. You'll take the three when it comes. 
I know it's not responsible, but, um... No, actually, it is responsible. It's not the way to get, like, a killer high score, but it's a responsible thing to do. It'll keep you alive longer. Good little training sesh. Feels good. Getting the speed down. Getting warmed up. You know why that was stupid? If I set it down uh, like an actual L, we would have had a Tetris. Instead, I got cute for a reason. I think because of the speed, I wanted to like lower it a little bit. It was stupid. Too cautious. What are you drinking tonight, Ka Kyle? Trusty old coffee. You nailed it. I'm drinking trusty old coffee tonight. Why change now? See, this is some nice Sweeney magic. If this happened when we were at in, like, actual level 17, we'd be golden. We'd be in really good shape. Unfortunately, the lines just don't come so easy when you're at level 17. Or any level. Normally. RX energy. Yeah, you're right. That was good stuff. I still I got some in the fridge. <laughs> if we need that, I can go to it. Save it for the finale. Okay. The finale is in two weeks, by the way. Week 50, and we're ending at week 52. High stakes. Yeah, so I'm going goofy right now. This is awful. This is bad. You never want to see this kind of situation. But again, you know, we're just getting warmed up, and it's actually good to mess around at level 17. Feel this out, feel the speed. Get used to it. Brat. Uh, Air Proxy? 16 months in a row. Thank you, Air Proxy. Too slow, Kyle. You're a little too slow, bud. Need some more sips of coffee. Okay, now we're in level 18. It means we've been training for too long. Okay, okay. Kyle, are you too rattled from Miss Fritter to play tonight? I gotta admit, yeah, I'm kind of rattled. Though I think, I think the Cars 3 stream ended in success. I'm not ashamed of how it ended. Um. We had a horrible obstacle in- yeah, look at that. We did pretty well in level 17. Um, we had a horrible ob obstacle presented to us, and we prevailed. And that was pretty cool. Uh, at level 18, I just don't want to put any line pieces up right. So yeah, again, I don't regret going for the 3 there, even though a Tetris was at hand. Tetris is at hand. Oh my gosh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beep, 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 beep. Cool. Level 19 Tetris. Oh, 18. Okay, not that big of a deal.
Kyle, you promised to tell us your middle name tonight. Oh, okay. If I beat Waz's score by... Mm, more than 40,000, I'll tell you my middle name. Chat, you always... The theories, the things that you type in for theories are too funny. You're good at writing jokes. We got a regular late night writer's room in chat every Friday night. Ooh, it's possible. It's possible. Did you see it? That was what I was crying about when we started uh, level 18 training. And then I went for it, and it's totally possible. That was cool. Getting hairy, of course. Getting hairy. Oh, bummer. Not possible. Okay, that was, that was another good run. Uh, what if we just, like, randomly took a bunch of the comments from chat? Like, we, we just print out the Twitch chat. Um, what is this? Ithusela. Uh, two months in a row. Um, and then turn that into a monologue for some poor comedian. So some poor guy's gotta come out on stage and say, uh, Kyle Sasuke Bossman. Well, that's not really a joke, we're just pitching names now. I guess this theory was bad from the start. Really, we would need, like, setup and punchline to really pull this off. Which is rare. That's not the kind of jokes we do here. <laughs> We're not a setup and punchline crew. Zero Vandal just subscribed. Deficient Monkey? Sorry, I missed you. I missed how many months you are, Deficient Monkey. But thank you for resubbing. Ooh, you just love S right now, don't you? That's okay. Little S love affair. It's fine. Because I got Joey on my side. Mm hmm. Chat, I feel like right now I'm burning all my good Tetris in practice mode. Like, this is some super good stuff. Okay, so that is the point where we could have done an upright line piece and still gotten a Tetris, but at level 19, you really don't want to play around with it. It might be possible, but I'm not there. I can't mash it over fast enough. That's closed, by the way, at the end of this run. Come on! Come on! Alright. I wish I could read your concept for the Tetris movie. The pieces are falling too fast. Simply too much. Yeah, 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 we'll just do that. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it nice and clean. Yeah, we're on level 19. We just keep it clean here. <laughs> Look at the hair, I can't. 
<laughs> I need the fan. I need it. It's a necessity. Nice. Level 19 Tetris. Again, like, if that happened in real life, we'd be so stoked. I mean, I'm positive I would actually be panicking if I got a level 19 Tetris in real life. It happened, and I panicked. Nice. That was actually smart. Look at Kyle being smart. That was sick. I never do that. Yeah, really, like, it's about, like, building up your instincts, you know what I mean? Because your brain can't process all the pieces that come in. It can't. And so it's kind of like muscle memory. It's kind of just, like, your brain needs to recognize the patterns and just uh, do what it has done in the, in the past. And so drilling in new strategies is so hard, but so necessary. Like, if you're wearing those jeans and no panties, it's just so necessary. You have to do it. No. Falling apart. Come on. Come No, it's done. It's done. Uh, in Rainbow 09, good luck, Bossman. Put the kids to bed, folks. Panties isn't a bad word. When did panties become a bad word? It is really funny. I was thinking about that. It's a, it's a Jay-Z lyric, everybody. Um, I was thinking about, like, how, you know, I don't swear. And people, uh... I'll get tweets in sometimes, and people say, uh... Um... Like... Hey man, it's it's just really nice to have some streams where like my child can watch. And I think about like Bosmany Wozniak and like how like dark and nasty these streams get. And I just ho I hope in real life no children are watching. Robot Ori four months in a row. It's not like there's bad language or anything like that, but it's just like the most insane ramblings you could ever expose a child to. You know. We go to, we go to dark places in Bosmany Wozniak. It's because I had a Cars 3 stream, and I was very violent. <laughs> I was very violent during my Cars 3 stream. Okay, so we're going to send uh, Usain Bolt uh, back to his own training. Thank you so much for your guidance, Usain. Okay, we're going to reset over here. Z-Man, six months in a row. Um, I got to close the bets, and we got to pick a song. Bets are closed. 208 tonight. That's really good, chat. That's really, really good. Okay. Uh, this checks out. Hold on. We, we got the Tetris music playing. I gotta stop it. Uh, Phantom of Vanitas. Uh, four months in a row. Thank you so much. Uh, music off. Okay. Now we can play this. This comes to us from Trails in the Sky. Track is called Sophisticated Fight. Uh, comes to and the person who sent this in is Halundrian. Kyle Bossman, child friendly on the outside, psychologically damaging on the inside. That's pretty much it. That's pretty perfect. That's rough. That's about right. I feel bad about trails. I feel like 800 people could personally tell me, hey man, this is the best RPG series to come out in years, and there's still no way I'll play it. <laughs> Feels bad. I can dig the tunes though, big time. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, all right, that was a tower spite. That was, that already hosed us. We'll get out of this. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, the boxes are really making it hard for me to solve this. Okay, I'm actually gonna bury us out now. Dig us out, excuse me. <laughs> That wasn't so bad, right, chat? The uh, reason I did that is because of the Z coming up. Oop. So we actually need to do that there. Dang. It's week 50, Kyle Bale. No, 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 no. There's, there's a line to bailing too soon, and that would definitely be it. Our score is fine right now. making stupid mistakes. Not loving the pieces. For sure not loving the pieces. Y'all are gross. We're a gross bunch of bailers. I don't like that attitude. Kyle, you should try the post-it note again? Yeah, it works. We got our highest score without the post-it note. And to be honest with you, like, the post-it note to me is, like, silly. Silly in a way that, like, I want, I want to overcome the panic and anxiety on my own. I don't want to have to, like, trick my mind into overcoming the anxiety. Garbage bail kids, that's very good. Charmin' Bear. Cool. It's one of the situations where we love a box. Yeah, we are burning a lot of lines on unnecessary bad pieces. That's on me. Score's still fine. Uh, the reason I don't swear? I don't know. I think it's just like a professional thing. Keep maintain some level of professionalism. Regis Philbin, you know. You know how it is. <sighs> Had to do it.
There we go. My goodness. We're gonna get to... Oh no, we'll be... We'll, you know what? We can still be well above if we get the right pieces. And I'm not even sure why I said it if. It's just not happening. Yep, yep, yep. We're in great shape. Okay. All of you garbage bale kids, what do you say now? What do you say to our score? Does Kyle swear off cam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta be honest. I absolutely do. Trusting you, Joey. There you go. Look at Joey, dude. Best in the biz. Uh, Jose08. Uh, eight months in a row. Thank you, Jose. Ugh. <laughs> um, what do I do with this? Okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're totally fine. That was uh, a lapse of judgment and some like a, a chain of bad, bad pieces. Cleanup crew is on it. Joey would clean that up nicely, huh? Not in the cards. Nice. get that L right there. Cool. Cleanup crew on point. Well done. Well done, team. What a mess, though, huh? We did not need that mess right there, right then. This is for a battle, huh? This is battle music? Gotta remember to let it drop. I'm glad I remembered it just then. Nice box. That was really nice of you, dude. We got a double-double, but we weren't ready for it. Tim Hortons assumed we wanted a double double. It's like actually not. Oh, no thanks. Oh, uh oh. No thanks. Please, just regular. Another double double. Tim Hortons, take it easy. Pump the brakes. You're gonna kill me with all this caffeine. How does Kyle know about Tim's? Uh, chat. Chat tipped me off to the double-double. Chat shared Tim Hortons with me. All 
Alright, we just need to do work for the rest of level 17. And that's what we need right now, is just to do work. What happened with all these S's and Z's? We need lines, baby. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. what I'm talking about. When you're le level 18, you just take that. Very nice, very nice. I'll take it. I'll take the three lines. Deep breathing. Thank you for the reminder, chat. Forgot about deep breathing. Twisted at the wrong side there. Bummer. <laughs> I think chat, I think that was our first level 20 Tetris of all time. I think that was it. I twisted, I mean, it's so hard for me to think at that speed. It's so hard. Hey, that's not a bad score though, right? Good opener. Yeah, I'm an incentive hunter. Imagine if we bailed when all those little garbage bail kids told us to bail. Imagine if we did it. <laughs> Kamitsumi, using the Seth Killian uh, Evo emote is an honor. That's an honor to receive such an emote. Uh, C note, 16 months, I believe in you, Kyle. Thank you, but don't. Yeah, you know what? Save save the Seth Killians until we do it. Save it until save them until we beat that score. Otherwise, it's meaningless, right? Four, them in four. Four. Excuse me. Excuse me. Did I ever did I ever tell that story? Smile. Excuse me. Sm look at me. Smile. Did I ever tell that story? Chat, tell me if I ever if I ever told that story. You would know. Never. Okay. All right. Um <laughs> Are you having a stroke? I'm having a stroke. Uh I'm not having a stroke. Um this was Subway in New York City. Um, there was this lady in Subway having... <laughs> she was just getting... It was Subway, right? It was Subway. And uh, <laughs> the guy serving her was just very flat with her, just very straight, just making her, you know, the sandwich artist. Um, and she says to him, Subway the restaurant... Um, and she says, excuse me, smile. And the guy would not give her a, 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 a centimeter of a, a smirk. You know what I mean? He's just like, have a nice day. And she says, excuse me, smile. I don't, chat, there's no other part to that story. She left without getting a single smile from that guy. I can't forget it. I cannot forget that one exchange. Excuse me, 
smile. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't smile. Oh, I respect him. I respect that guy. He would not smile for her. He was probably having a bad day. It's not his responsibility to smile for her. Ooh, yep, yep, this checks out. So this comes to us from Rummy Cake. This is Flashman Stage from Mega Man 2. Yeah, Chad, I don't have like a good, um, I don't have a good ramp rant locked and loaded this week. You know, I don't have a Ebenezer Scrooge rant for us. I know you all love my classic takedowns, but I don't have one this week. Bugs Bunny, you know you can always get me started on Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Which I think is what happened last time, right? Brian Fetto just said, what do you think of Bugs Bunny knowing it would set me off? Yeah, it's a reset. So don't even get me started on Bugs Bunny. I do feel it's like the Looney Tunes are a mismanaged franchise currently. I think there's a ton of money you could be making off that franchise, and nobody is. They're dormant. And obviously, you know, I despise 80% of the Looney Tunes, but even I can recognize there's value there. There's money to be made with the Looney Tunes. Seriously, what are they doing right now? Who's making money off Looney Tunes right now? Who owns the Looney Tunes? Well, obviously Warner Brothers. Uh, but I mean, like, what are they doing? Are they just hanging around Six Flags? Is that it? Is that the extent of what Bugs Bunny is working on these days? Space Jam 2, it seems so obvious. It seems like such an obvious thing that they should just make happen. By the way, this is the way we like a Tetris run to start. This is nice. As opposed to that last one, they really, where they really made us work for it, is just put the pieces down where they go. All right, we're actually going gold bloom because the way the pieces fell, we're going gold bloom. Oh man! Did anything weird happen for you over there, chat? My computer freaked out like Windows style, you know what I mean? Where like all of the applications just flash, like they're like it's restarting itself. Joey, dude. Where's my Joey? Nowhere to be seen. All right, this is a reset too. Yeah, I mean that really honestly could have worked out, but like no Joey still. Dang, it's a reset. Still no Joey that whole time. Brutal. on my end. Okay, cool. It's my least favorite thing. It's just, you know, Windows saying, I'm, I'm doing... Now we got some Joeys. That's, that's the right amount of Joeys. Um, it's Windows saying, like, I know what's best for you. And the truth is, for most of the people operating Windows, it's right. It does know what's best, and they would not update unless it forced them to. It's just annoying sometimes. It's annoying what Windows will do to you. I... look. Trust me on this, okay? I'm the operating system. I'm so smug about it. If, if you have any questions, just ask Cortana, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna reset myself. Take a little breather over there in your chair. Okay, while I handle this, I need a restart. I'm gonna change all your settings, by the way. I 
hope that's not annoying for you. I'm gonna change all your preferences, okay? This is ne this is necessary. Okay, who's the operating system here? That's the attitude I get from Windows 10. And I guess it's it's a little more frustrating because it's not all your preferences, obviously. It's just some of them. And it's frustrating when you have to do streams and it's like, Hey, why did you change that? It's like, ah, I had to reset. I had an update. Pardon me. Just doing what's best for you, buddy. Clog early, right? The way of golf. Golf is wise. That was wisdom. That paid off. That was, you know what? It was the right thing to do. It was the right thing to do. Music is cool, huh? And this is just from two? Good grief. <laughs> Chat, tell me to smile. You're streaming for me, aren't you? Smile! I'm your customer, smile! You're putting on this stream for me, mister. Smile! I guess it is, it's super weird because you assume that, and correct me if I'm wrong here, you can't see panties through most jeans. I feel like most denim is going to hide whether you're wearing panties or not. So like what kind of jeans is Jay-Z referring to? What kind of jeans are those? You tell me. Kyle, this is bad. <laughs> that means it's right. Oh, man. Ugh. Ugh, that was stupid. Clean up cruise, on the case. Minor diversion, we're all right. Hot shots, back on the case. It's just a minor diversion, sir. the Mega Man music. You play some Mega Man music like this, you're focused and you're gonna have a good run. The pieces have been nice. We do have to uh, thank Sweeney for that. The pieces have been kind to us. I think the proper thing would have been the opposite there.
Yeah, see, these are, these are, like, these, these pieces are a pleasure. This is just pure kindness. Sick track. And I guess, you know, people already know Mega Man has good music, but like, this is sick. This is really good. It bears repeating. Yeah, I'm clogging early. I'm doing the golf strat this time. And maybe we can turn this into a sneaky Tetris. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can we do it? Can we pull that off? We need a line, though. You can't have a Tetris without a line. <sighs> Tetris is out of kindness. The kindness is gone. Welcome to level 11. Kindness. Off. true nature. You can't hide it from me. Oh my goodness, Tetris. Come on, come on. That was ridiculous. We got hosed. We got super hosed there. Yeah, that sucked. Too greedy? I mean, you're right, you're right, you're right. I set up a Tetris halfway up. You're right. That was a little greedy. Don't do that in the future. Well, no, all we needed was a line. I set up a Tetris well, and then all we needed was one line, and then Tetsuna held out hard. If this was a regular game? A regular Tetris game with a regular Tetris algorithm? We would've looked fine, but this is Game Boy Tetris, baby. No excuses. Let's see if our next track checks out. Checks out! It makes me so mad. Uh, the Opened Way, this is from Shadow of the Colossus. This is from Linkist. Too intense. Kyle, is it weird that the reason I couldn't get into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was because the protagonist is too cool? It's only weird... It depends on what season you're talking about. If you're talking about Jonathan Joestar, yeah, give him a break. Sorry, Joseph Joestar. Which one's Wiz Chat? Which one's the fancy gentleman? Jonathan is part one. Yeah, Jonathan's sick. He's not too cool. If you're talking about part two, Jojo, I can hear it. I would get your argument. I would totally get it. He's got, he's got a lot of too cool to him, too. You're right, chat. You're so right. That guy's too cool. Julski. His mom loves him, and he's like, who cares? I hate you. It's like, all right, man, come on. Your mom loves you, dude.
And obviously he loves his mom back, obviously, and he just doesn't, doesn't want to show it. I get it. I get what the point is. Clog early. The golf method. Will it pay off this time? Only time will tell. Is it like this? Nope. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I have not yet mastered my line piece T-spins. I did it once last time. I remember it was sick. I just can never remember exactly how to do it. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually... This is an easy platform to start building a new Tetris on. Yeah, I'm not, I, I saw all the opportunities they gave me. I'm saying no, we're getting a Tetris. And I don't get another. Okay, okay, game. Get a bus, get a bus, get a bus, get a bus. There we go. Double, double. Almost had it. intense is music what's weird is how how right it is for what the game is it is exactly the music that should be playing as you're trying to take down a colossus over a great deal of time Okay, I think we can finally stop playing around here. We met our quota, and now we can reset. Cleanup crew is back in, cleanup crew is out, hot shots in. Joey, you're too good, dude. Best in the biz. Yeah, that was cool. We got a lot of Tetrises out of a bad situation. That's what you're supposed to do. Build onto the trash. Landfills. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we just bury all of our trash? Right? I was like, we got so much garbage. Why don't we just like, like bury it, like cover it with dirt? can't think of a better idea. Okay. So it shall be. We're just gonna bury our trash with dirt. It's, honestly, it's a good idea. What else are we gonna do with it? I have no idea, because we're, like, we're making too much trash. Yeah, yeah I gotta agree with that. Chat, this is a good run. We salvaged this. This is officially salvaged. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Jinxed again. You must be new. You know we don't care about jinxes on Boston v. Wozniak. We welcome jinxes. Jinxes are to be welcomed because we cannot believe in luck. Luck will not give us this victory. I mean, we do believe in Sweeney, which kind of negates that whole mantra. <laughs> but, uh, how could you not believe in Sweeney? Yeah, that's pretty sick. If you're close to 300 by the time you're out of level 10, that's pretty nice. It's hard to do much better than that. Of 
course, I mean, you can't have a Tetris without a line. There it is. Music too serious. Oh man, you know what? I could have had a Tetris if I was willing to play with it. I should have played. I should have played. Yeah, I'm just nervous to put any piece upright right on the edge there. I should have played. Gotta pay to play, baby. Pay to play right here. Mm -hmm. Pain to play. You can't fool me, Tetris. You tried to fool me, not not happening. I'm paying to play. Chat, do you know what Zozobra is? Do you know about Zozobra? Okay, so that's some sick stuff right there. Uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of like Burning Man. He's like, he's a huge puppet that you burn. And he goes, don't... Burn me as he as you burn him. Um This is a giant marionette basic, giant puppet. And like it, I don't quite get it. I think you're kinda like burning off the last year, you're burning off like your regrets and stuff as you burn. So Zobra, your anxieties. That was too close, that was foolish to do at level 15. Kyle, you're slamming. Okay, I'll stop slamming. You're right, I was slamming. You caught me. Anyway. When I think of uh, Shadow of the Colossus, I think of Zozobra. I'm sorry, Chad. I wanted the Tetris. I wanted the Tetris. I did a big mistake because I wanted the Tetris. I should have clogged. I should have clogged. I'm sorry. That's on me. That's on me. I wanted the Tetris too bad. I was getting mad, you know what I mean? Dude, why? Because it was so long without a line. Joe Town. 16 months. Greedy. You're right. That was greedy. Personally, I brain says Obra. Don't brain plain says Obra. Oh, hey, I forgot we got a gift for this scenario. 400Ks are so regular that I forgot, like, we have a gift for this scenario. There we go. Still proud, right?
Did Kyle ever close bets? Absolutely, I did. Kyle, hair check. Uh, there's nothing much I can do. Not much I can do, I'm afraid. Um, all right, I'm going to up my coffee. You know what? I think I need an entire research break. I do. Uh, so we'll pick the next track. We'll, check, we'll pick a bonus track. Okay. I'm sorry if this is your track and it gets picked, but um, we only have so many more songs that are going to get picked, and so they're not all going to make it in. Oh, I'm so sorry. Final Fantasy VIII, Maybe I'm a Lion. This is the soundtrack to our research break. This comes to us from here for Final Fantasy IX. Who, you know what? You deserve this for not picking uh, a nine track. Here for Final Fantasy IX and you're picking Final Fantasy VIII stuff? All right. All right, I'll be back. I'm digging it. I dig this. I dig it. Alright, thank you here for Final Fantasy IX for uh, sponsoring our research break. Uh, this checks out. This is interesting. Um, this comes to us from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm not going to even tell you the name of the track. It's one of those things where it's like, oh, I didn't want to hear about it. Uh, Toodles14 is the person who submitted this. Here we go. Oh, I didn't see that part yet. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want that responsibility. It's inside of that video game. The GIF is still up. I always forget about the GIF. Thank you, chat. I think it's cool. I should always have that GIF up. I should have it up the whole time. Celebrate.
I got platinum and rocket league doubles. Does that mean like your best, you're like in the top 1% of rocket league? Platinum one. I assume that means you're super good. Let me ask you a follow-up question, and what hurts about the follow-up questions is that usually I can't read them. Usually I miss it. I miss most comments while I'm playing Tetris. Uh, do you know your partner? Like, do you play with someone specifically? Uh, always. Or do you get a random partner in doubles? Because I think both would be pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty cool to, like, have a buddy who you're, like, a, a master with. And I think it'd also be pretty cool to uh, just be so good that you can drop in with anybody and still be victorious. Just playing with randos. Very cool. Good work. There's nothing to do with that guy, so we clog it. Clog it early. Goth method. Sick. Paid off. Kyle, stop reading chat and focus on the game. No, this would be pointless. This whole stream would be pointless if I did not read chat. Others, I would still be talking about panties and jeans if it wasn't for chat telling me to stop, you know? I need you, chat. You're my barometer for this kind of thing, you know? When it gets too fast, certainly I do stop checking chat. Like, I just physically can't. I can't do both. Alright, so I'm getting greedy here. Paid off, baby. Barometer. <laughs> Oh, that's the dumbest joke ever. <laughs> that one's not getting out of the writer's room. If we pitch Barometer to Leno, it's not getting into the monologue. He's like, I don't know about that one, guys. Why don't you let that one cook? Alright. We promise it'll get laughs, Jay. You know, like, the L fit way better up there, but really I just wanted the Tetris. And then we got another L right after! L! You are in fashion right now. No one's ever said that about me before. Well, it's true, you look cool. Thanks. Alright, 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 alright. You look cool, L. You go, girl. Oh, thanks. Oh, poor L. It's not right. So condescending. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you, Sweeney. Right on schedule. FedEx, baby. There's a little Tim Hortons double double. Blah, 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 blah. Drink it down. Tim Hortons. Drink it down. <laughs> That's how the commercials go, right? I've never been to Canada. That's just how I assume it goes. Tim Hortons. Coffee and donuts. Drink it down. Slurp it. Tim Hortons.
Hey you! Why ain't you slurping? Let me guess, you're at Starbucks? Get out of there! Come on over to Tim Hortons! Drink it up! Mm -hmm. Just like that. Tell him Tim Hortons sent you! You little idiot! Mm -hmm. Oh, and that L is so nice right there. L, you are in fashion! By the way, what is this again? This is Zelda? Too intense. Y'all gotta stop this. I can't do deep breaths when the stuff like this is playing. Ninety percent of Breath of the Wild is just nice, chilled out music, and you pick this thing. It's not right. and easy. Let them drop. Let them drop. Mm. Okay, I like that, Kyle. That was a good play. Let's see. I hate you, Tetris. I hate you, Tetris. I hate you, Tetris. Oh, I don't know, Chad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to play this game. I don't know how to play Tetris. I don't know. Kai, you ever played Cave Story? Yeah, but I, like, hated the last section. Never beat it. The last section is just, like, too annoying. I don't know how to play Tetris. Doesn't make sense to me. Oh yeah, you know I'm still putting that gif up. Ooh, okay. That checks out. Yeah, well, you know, like, that play style in particular, where I'm going hard on the Tetris, uh, it, like, it's also the reason that we botch it so hard so fast. It's like, yeah, I do, I get my score up super quickly, but also it's the reason why, like, I lose my mind whenever three pieces drop that I'm not ready for. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is The Sun Rises from Okami, submitted by Cell Armor. Is that right? Sell armor. Little Okami music. Dude, gross. I'm not going to play a game where I have to be a dog. Dude, gross. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, the gif. The gif, I know. I know, I know. Okay. I just love the gif too much. Too proud. Uh, Tara Evren, uh, 13 months. Evren. Tara Evren. Dude, put that back on the shelf. I'm not playing. Well, double, double. Why not? Why are you not slipping? Oh, you're at the coffee bean? Shut up! Come on out of Tim Hortons!
I'm talking about like not swearing. Sometimes when you're doing a bit like that, where like swearing would definitely enhance the bit, it's hard. You gotta watch yourself. Yeah, 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 we'll take that. We'll take those three lines. You know the Tim Hortons guy swears in those commercials. That's what I have to assume. Again, I don't know. I haven't seen the Tim Hortons commercials, but I assume that's what they're like. Okay, all right, all right. Cute Tetris, really cute. You're good at your own game. Good job. Chat's got some funny suggestions. I think Leno might like some of those. Look at that double double. Tim Horton's treating us right tonight. Another double double. Holy cow. The seed. Good seed. You, my friend, are a good seed. Your friend is a bad seed. Leave your friend. And join my science army. Together with the other soldiers of the science army, we will rule with a scientific fist. We will show those know nothings what gravity truly is along with other experiments I'm working on the gravity one is the furthest along would you like to see it you know what don't say yes or no to joining us until you see it <laughs> Okay, this this is it, and remember, this is early. Okay, so use your imagination. <laughs> now, if I press this lever against this switch, the gravity of the in a soccer stadium will be reversed. <laughs> now, I realize much of this is theoretical, but the build of the lever is there, is it not? So join us, won't you, in the science army? We could use a good seed such as this. I was gonna go nuts there, and I'm like, actually, you know what? You know what? We're up a little high. Don't go nuts. You're doing fine. Knock it down. Clean up crew. We don't need to do hot shot. You can turn it on and off. I could have done something way cool with those. This. This is what I could have done with that. That was stupid. Now that was some slick stuff. That was some slick stuff. Chat, if you come if you come to Boston B. Wozniak looking for slick stuff, I just delivered. You just got some slick stuff. 
Damn it. Slick stuff delivered. I can sign off now. Good night. You're welcome for the slick stuff. Every once in a while, I swear I hear like whispering on this track. Is that? Am I crazy? crazy. Good to know. That, you, I hear sound effects. I hear sound effects on this track. I hear Amaterasu painting. How's Ben doing? Oh, he's great. He's really good. Uh, he uh, he has a new girlfriend, and they're doing really well. How's Olivia? Uh, well, Olivia, she's doing. She's got a job. Um, she. Uh, what's wrong? Well, it's it's weird. Uh, she joined a, a a science army. What is? Is that a, what is that? Is that like a like a nonprofit thing? No, um, I don't. It's it's weird. They're kind of they're kind of like God. I I was I'm scared. I'm honestly I'm so, oh oh my God, Susan. What what is this? I, I kind of like I think they might be terrorists, like science terrorists. It's, do you, did you see in the news? When that soccer stadium flipped upside down? Yeah. That was her. That was her in this the science army. And she... She makes... She makes me call her... Z-Quinn? I don't understand it. It's like C-Quinn, but with a Z. She... And... From what I understand, they're just like science pranks. You know, nobody got hurt when that science stadium flipped upside down, but she was so proud of it. And I just... I don't know. Apparently it pays well. It, her boss is some maniac, but he pays well. Just, I don't know. I'm trying, should I be happy for her? I don't know. I'm scared, though. I'm scared. You should... You should be proud of her. You should be. You should be proud of her. Because um, at least she's doing something, right? You know, it's better than living at home. She's doing something. It's not better than living at home. Because I don't know what they're going to do next. She said that the gravity thing is probably the only thing they got for a while, but I don't know, right? Is she telling the truth? Well, how about this? Hmm. Let's drive to San Diego, and let's stop them. You and me. No. Yeah, let's just go stop them. How tough can the science army be, right? I don't know. Come on, like old times. She'll be so mad. We're saving her. We're protecting her. Okay. Okay. I'll pack my things. Let's go stop the science army. Hey, Dennis! Yeah? We're gonna go stop Zequin's science army. Need any help? No, I just I was just letting you know it might be a while. Okay. 
Call me if you need anything. Okay, baby, I love you. I love you too. Road trip to San Diego. Ooh, wee, huh? Nice, nice. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. Hey, should we have code names? What do you mean? Well, if we're fighting these bad guys with code names, and especially, you know. We don't want you to get recognized. So I think maybe we should have code names. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. I want mine to be, um... Oh, oh, not ready. I was not ready, chat. Oh, I was not ready. Was I slamming or just... Dang. I can't handle the speed tonight. Should we go back and train? <laughs> As soon as we get excited. Well, that's the thing, Chad, is that, like... Again, it's like... Alright, I've had enough of this music. Enough, Okami. Oh, again, too intense. When do we get a chilled out track? I'd actually like to hear about Dennis some more. <laughs> He's just a loving husband. <laughs> Building too high past 15. I think you're right. I think... Uh, I got a little too confident in training when I was getting those like level 19 Tetrises. I think you're right that I should cool off and try to kind of do some rivers and lakes. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get a new track. Glad to have you here with me, Chad. Oh, this checks out. This is Chrono Cross Scars of Time, submitted by Kristen Rogers. Here we go. And this is a chilled out track. This is 100% what I wanted. Uh, Post-it note hasn't really been a factor. I mean, we haven't been to level 20 all night, have we? I think we got there once. Oh, this is a chilled out track. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Whew. Chad, we can all chill out now. Keep it clean. We can't really. Ooh, yeah, we can. L, everyone loved your short story today. I'm so jealous of how good at writing you are. That bit I cannot nail down. I do not know what that bit is about. I think it's like people being insincerely nice to L. It's rude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how do we handle this? Pretty filthy. Okay, okay, okay. Point taken. I'll take the point, Tetris. Trying to lower our greed. Reduce the greed. Hmm. 
Joey, you're the best in the business, dude. Love you. Alright, at least that happened now and not super high, right? Like, that keeps happening at level 13, where I make a big bungle. It's nicer to bungle now than later. Welcome to my bungalow. Welcome to my bungalow. Welcome to my bungalow. don't know about this guy. What do you mean? I don't know. Should we go in? Of course. He just said, welcome to my bungalow. Yeah, but he's just... Nobody's that nice, you know? Yeah, I can't see the harm in going into his bungalow. I, I can. What? What if it's... What if it's a werewolf bungalow? Honey, it's definitely not a werewolf bungalow. What do you know about werewolves? I know they like to trick people into their caves. Yeah, well, it's a bungalow, not a cave. Come on. I'm going in. Ugh. Here. What? Silver bullets. Are these real silver bullets? Yeah. So this was... This was for the joke. You're pranking me. I got silver bullets in case... Well, I don't have a gun! Ugh, come on, Tetris. The only way out of that was a, was a line. Tetris, you're being so mean tonight. So kind and so mean. Yeah, we got a new track. We got a pretty high. Dang. So mean tonight, Tetris. Not appreciated, dude. The nice part is, like, we had the bungalow and we got out of it, but then just, like, bungalow round two. Kyle, werewolf bits don't work. Oh, that bit was gonna work. Kyle, you should watch Kirby right back at you. It's a really funny show. That's my kind of comment. I love that. All right, so this comes to us from Ben Attacks. Uh, it is Final Fantasy Legend 2 OST. This is a Game Boy game. The track is called Save the World. Chat, that... Werewolf bungalow bit? You don't even know. I had it all plotted out. It was going places for sure. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Reset, 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 reset. I love Game Boy music. It reminds me of Pokemon music. Just a little the stuff happening in the back. Oh yeah, this is sick. good with these pieces. Um, okay, okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Just build a new Tetris. A new Tetris. A batch of Tetris. Thank you for that double double! Sweeney ordered that for us. We arranged a date like to hang out with Sweeney. 
at Tim Hortons, right? We show up late. We show up 15 minutes late. And we're like, oh, okay, uh, let me go up and order something. And Sweeney's like, oh, no, 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 I got you. Slides a double-double right over the table. Thanks, Sweeney. Oh, this is good stuff. This is a great track. Again, a little too intense. A little too intense. Not 100% chilled out. Werewolf bits don't work. Were there other werewolf bits? Have I done a werewolf bit before? Double, double, baby. That's a good seed. Grandpa oil is the best bit you've ever done. <laughs> it's true. I don't like admitting it, but admitting it, but if oh no, twisted too soon. Okay, we can just so salvage that. Not a huge whoop. But if you like check the statistics, uh, Grandpa Oil is actually the best bit. It's crazy, I know. It's like it's stupid. I feel like there's probably been a lot of better bits than that. But uh, yeah, that's just a clue. I was thinking about doing a crazy tet setup, but that's better. It's better. Just keep it clean. Our score is ridiculous right now. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but if you check the stats, like, Grandpa Oil is number one by, like, a huge margin. It's stupid. And, like, I don't, I don't know who's been crunching the numbers, but, like... All you can do is shrug and agree with it, you know? You. you unwanted Z's, and I don't want you here. Be gone. Be gone. Ooh, this is good. Right when we get back here, every time. You know I'm on board every single time we get back here. Yeah, I'm on board. Okay, it's like the uh, 14 track from last week. Just, you know, get, getting back to that part I love, you know? I'll be patient. I'll love it every time. This is truly cool music, and so... Uh, Final Fantasy Legend isn't Final Fantasy Legend, right? I feel like it is... Ooh. L. Your glasses are super cute. That was so nice. Um, Saga. Thank you, everybody. Oh, it sucks. We cleared it out, and then it's like, here's some more trash for you. 
It's like, um... Like a commercial for a children's board game. Tetris! It's a game that sucks. I got some trash for you. Tetris, this game hates you. Can you put up with the nonsense of Tetris? This kid's just rattled, so shaken by how awful this mean game is. Here's another Z for you. The pieces stack up, and the ones you want don't come. Tetris. Don't play this. Oh, ugh. Nice L. I like the decorations you put on your locker. to the rescue! I like that music you were playing. Who is that? Ew, people are saying bail? Get out of town. Get out of town. We don't need that kind of attitude. Get out of town. Garbage bale kids. This track's too good. This track is way too good to bail onto. It's okay, we just need a teaspoon. It'll clean that right up. In the meantime, I'm gonna level it down as we wait for that teaspoon. There we go, see? See, chat? Don't worry about it. Don't bail. bad pieces. These are extremely bad ones. I don't know why I did it like that. I can't tell you. I don't know how to play Tetris. I don't understand this game. I think it might be for adults. I totally bet on L tonight, though. Ugh, oh, bummer, these boxes. I don't want you right now. I'm fighting so hard for a bad score. We're not gonna break 400, are we? Oh well. We fight for it. But this music makes me wanna fight. I wanna get in a random battle in a saga game. Game Boy.
Kyle used the bite. <laughs> Two damage. The werewolf used Nash. <laughs> Kyle is dead. Would you like to revive Kyle? No. We fight, chat. We fight. We fight. We fight. Oh. Oh. Bummer. Little, little too much indecision, a little too late there. This game's too fast. This is definitely for adults. We fought. How come Kyle never pauses the game? I've paused before. I used to like pause to give you tips. I used to pause to do Tetris tips. We don't really do that too much anymore. I feel like I've taught you everything I have to can. I have nothing left to teach you. Kyle, you ever seen the movie The Big Green? Absolutely. Chad, I, I gotta wonder, do you ask me questions like that the whole time I'm playing? And then it's only when I end <laughs> that I read them. Or do you save them until I'm like close to dying? And then you're like, okay, now's now's my chance for my big green question. I gotta know. Um, I don't remember anything from the big green besides the poster. Ooh. Uh, fight against an armed boss. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. This comes to us from Flotador. Mostly people just spam. Okay. This start sucks. Come on, Tetris. Don't treat me like this. If you ever wondered what a truly bad start looks like, that was it. That was just some nasty, nasty stuff. Okay, I know you love S and Z. Good. Good for you. You're good at your own game, Tetris. Good job. If you just give me those two pieces, I can't win. It's true. Okay, so if you start off with a J and an L, you can absolutely play around with S's and Z's. It's just when those are like the two starters, it just sucks. Don't even want to play. I don't even want to play. It's not fun. That's the crazy thing about uh, casinos, gambling, the lottery, is that... And this is crazy stuff. Someday I, I feel like I want to make a movie about this. About... Uh, ancient China when they figured out how to how to make the lottery and figure out the human capacity for uh, losing basically to keep people interested in gambling you have to let them win a certain percentage and obviously by now we've got that ratio down but a long time ago, when when these sick Chinese mathematicians were developing the lottery, they had to like really just figure that out. It's like, okay, how much do we let humans win for them to be interested in the lottery? Um, that's so cool to me. That's so interesting. And so Tetris is kind of the same. Um, <laughs> how much does the game let me win in order for me to stay interested in it? Because obviously, like the game could beat you a ton, right? 
the game could just destroy every single time, but then you wouldn't love it and you wouldn't play it. And obviously they've refined it. <laughs> they have made it easier to win since, uh, what year is this, 89? Sometimes it's just too mean. It's cool. What is the arc of this movie? Ah, uh, that's a weird thing. I, I think it's a historical movie. Like, I think I just want to tell the story of the lottery. I uh, like the antagonist is the lottery, which you know a lot of people waste money on. And, you know, it's hard to point at them and saying you're wasting your money because they're having fun and they're having hope. Uh, and so that's like the complicated part of all this, you know what I mean? You can't be judgmental about it. You probably shouldn't ever point at somebody's fun and say like, you're stupid for enjoying that. Unless it's a truly stupid thing. That's on me, for not paying attention. Ooh. Now I'm paying the price. It's an addiction. It's not always, but it can be. It can absolutely be an addiction. Bad pieces. You hose me, Tetris. You're having fun, aren't you? Yeah. Good. Alright. Good. Good. You know what? Love Super Mario RPG? Don't love that track. Never like that track. Don't like it. Love the game? I don't care to play Tetris to that tune. Good riddance. Alright, this is a very funny submission. Uh, this is Cora's Den Nightclub from Mass Effect. Uh, this comes to us from Gramulator. Salty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Th that opinion was enhanced by salt, 100%. Oh, yeah, we're about to listen to 15 minutes of this. So I definitely hear whispering now, right? That's... Do you think she's saying English, or do you think that the music director said, no, just say, like, say some, like, sexy alien stuff? What do we think here? Is she speaking English? Why not both? This pick was funny for about 15 seconds and now I want to cry. <laughs> All right, keeping it clean. We're not going for that Tetris. We're keeping things clean and we are rewarded by Sweeney. Sweeney liked that move. That was cool. Almost a double-double. It's a double and a half. Sorry, a single and a half. I love you, a single and a half, a single and a half. Oh, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, bad pieces. You're killing me with these pieces, Tetris. You're destroying me. You're destroying me. 
I cannot exist when these pieces pieces exist. We cannot cohabitate. So excited to have you. Now, uh, for this track, okay, we're at a, we're at like an alien nightclub, right? Uh, so please don't say any English, but please just um, lay down some, you know, provocative, uh, sexy alien speech, okay? And go. I'm sorry. Uh, pause. Pause. Excuse me. Uh, what's the what's the direction? You know, just like, uh, like some, like sexy, like what would a sexy alien say? Like, what do you, what do you mean? Oh, I don't know, like um, slippy goopy, something like that. You know, like, uh, no, just think like what is, like a like, sexy alien would say. I don't, I don't. What kind of alien are we talking about? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that's fair, that's fair. I should explain. Um, they're blue. They're they're uh, they're blue. They got a blue blue head. Uh, they got like tentacles that just you know kind of flap over the back sides of their heads. So uh, you know just channel that. You feel good? Uh, yeah. I guess you know what. Just roll, and we'll see what you're doing with it, and we'll go from there. Okay. All right. And record. Zorchi, uh, Kamango. Okay, Brady, uh, we're gonna pause there. Yeah. Um, little too sexy. Okay. Uh, and I realize that's on me. But uh, obviously, this is, it's a it's a video game. Okay. Where you know we're gonna have to sell this. So please, don't go too sexy. Okay. Okay. I, I, what do you mean that was too sexy? I'm I'm sorry. I've never done this kind of thing before. I've never I've never had to do like alien music. No. <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. It really, just have fun with this, okay? Um, but, like, not raunchy, please. Oh, okay. Alright, okay, here we go, and recording now. Um, Zemstar. Uh, Grufatoof. Okay, uh, so let's stop right there. Um... I guess I was I guess I was unclear. Uh, really, that's too sexy. Um, we're not going for that kind of tone at all with this game. Uh, it's just supposed to be like the fun kind of sexy. Uh, what you're doing here, uh, I, it's gross. Okay, so please. I, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't get this. I don't get this. You're telling me to do sexy alien noise. I'm trying, but like I don't know. I don't, obviously, like, you're, you, I gotta, what, use my imagination? And I do, and then you're telling me, like, a, here, let me, let me show you, let me show you, let me give you an example, I realize that's unfair on me, I, I, okay, you're new at this, I get that, okay. Um, you wanna just, Paul, you don't wanna just start it up? Yeah, okay, I gotcha, okay. Team. Suspin. Kazaa. Okay, you see what I'm doing there? Yeah, okay. Lita. Okay, alright, yeah, I'm sorry, I finally understand. Okay, yeah, just like that level, we're just trying to have fun here, right? It's just, the game's called Mass Effect. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I think. <laughs> I think. Okay, go ahead. And recording now. Sama. Tita. Tita. Okay, stop. Um. I guess I guess you should go. Uh, clearly, this is not gonna work out. Was I too sexy again? Yeah. Honestly, like, I think we broke some laws there. Uh. 
I'm gonna have to report this uh, to the union because Paul can't hear stuff like that while he's on the job. Uh, I've already reported you. I've already reported you. That was raunchy as hell. Okay, Paul, come on. Um, there's probably gonna be a lawsuit about this. Um, I guess the best thing you could do in your scenario is to um, call your agent. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be calling mine. Uh, frankly, either of us will be lucky if we get to work in this town again. You're going down. Okay, okay, Paul. Uh, that was uh, too much. That was too much. Then we're gonna have to shut down this game. And so they did. Mass Effect. The sexiest game on the planet. Never came to be. Instead, 3D platformers continued their rise. A whole generation of gamers who never got to romance aliens. Instead, they were playing 3D platformers. They never got to see what it would be like to enter a, a sexy alien nightclub. Instead, they were all double jumping, like idiots. And that set off a whole other, like... Jeff Keighley never got to be on Fox News. That never happened. Player choice never took off in games. All games became linear. A whole generation of gamers growing up thinking linear is a good thing. If a game tried to give you a choice, gamers said that's not how gameplay works. Real gamers like going down a tunnel, they said. And so, that's why me and my team are committed to writing the timeline. We're going to tap into the universe's time brain, set things right. Oh, sloppy Kyle. We're going to find a way for Mass Effect to get released. Okay, Brittany, why don't you just do uh, one more take? Hey, who are you? My name? Always get caught up on the names. My name is Leonard Franklin. Myth. And I'm here to save Mass Effect. What do you mean? You. Her. She's about to lay down a track that's too sexy. You'll all get arrested and Mass Effect never gets made. Oh my god. So. If you don't mind, I'll go ahead and lay down a track for you. Excuse me? I'll I'll go into the booth and I'll make sure that I put down a track that's that's sexy, but not too sexy. I'm gonna save Mass Effect. Oh, couldn't get it over. Level 18. Bummer. Ah, <sighs> BBT spoilers. <laughs> 
You're right, there is a character named Leonard on that. Hmm. So we're having an easy time breaking 400, but a really hard time breaking 500. I'll go for another run or two. Let's do- oops, nope, definitely not that gif. There we go. I'll do another couple of runs. Like, I can't stop breaking 400, it's too easy, but like... I just can't get a good run together. Here's a game I'm not familiar with. I guess I'll pause that. Chat, do y'all you know, know Valhalla? V-A-1-1 Hall-A? This is a game I don't know. Don't Wait for Lines. You know, it's so funny. Uh, I really love Don't Wait for Lines. Um... Because it used to be don't clog the well. <laughs> and that was the most annoying advice in the world. Uh, I'm completely happy that it has spun back the other way. Yes, please. Please tell me not to wait for lines. Um, okay, yeah. This checks out. We're playing it. Every Day is Night from Valhalla. And JJJKOPF is the person who submitted this. Very smooth. Don't clog the lines. Excuse me, smile. Excuse me. Smile. Treat me. Treat me. Smile. Excuse me. I deserve this. No, it's all people your age. Just smile. Smile. Excuse me. You're gonna die with that frown on your face. Oh, the gif, the gif. I'm so sorry. Beep, 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 beep. The sax. Okay. We like sax here. Beautiful. That's how you do it. Clog the well. Don't wait for the lines. Thank you, chat. That is how you do it. Thank you, chat. Uh, you know, sometimes I have to do, like, uh, epilogues and explain what happened to the bits, you know, like, conclude the story. That one we don't have to. We know that Leonard saved Mass Effect. We live in that timeline. That was a Leonard on the track. The perfect amount of sexy. Oof. I could have been a little slicker there. I promised slick, but I didn't give you the full slick. Conclude Grandpa Oil. No, I'm... <laughs> I think we did, didn't we? Grandpa Oil is open-ended by nature. chat asks, <laughs> why didn't Leonard save Andromeda? You can only do so much tinkering with the timelines. Leonard did what he could. Hmm. Ugh. These pieces. Alright, so with an L, we can clean this up pretty easily. Yeah, that's so nice, L. You're really good at PowerPoint.
Yeah, I dig this tin. It's definitely a little intense, but we got that sax. Do people not use PowerPoint anymore? Y'all using like some Google presentation app? PowerPoint was most of the class presentations I would do would be in PowerPoint. And I would go pretty nuts on them. I would do some really dumb PowerPoints. Um, shoot, this isn't even a history class. What class was that? I don't know. I think some English class. Maybe that was history. I did a presentation on tanks, uh, where like, <laughs> I just talked about the history of tanks, and the PowerPoint presentation starred Solid Snake and Pikachu. This is not a bit, this is real life, and I thought that was a good idea. <laughs> And, and I had Daft Punk playing the whole time. Because <laughs> I figured out how to add music to PowerPoint. <laughs> and so, <laughs> I'm doing this presentation on tanks. where it, And it's just like, work it, make it, do it, makes us. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> tanks started in World War I, technically. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could show it to you. I wish I could show you that presentation. It's long gone. But I would show, like... So it, there would be speech bubbles, essentially, and so I would have to, like, read aloud what Pikachu and Snake were saying. But they were talking about trench warfare and why tanks were valuable, because they could go right over the trenches. <laughs> Man. Oh, I'm so sad I don't have to show you. I wish I had that to show you, everybody. Good PowerPoint. I thought I was the coolest kid with PowerPoint. I could add music. <laughs> Bad run, though, huh? I guess, like, if we're not at 300k at level 11, we're not happy anymore. I got too good. It's sad we became so excellent that anything less than superior is inferior. Which is just wrong, right? Uh, in another... It's so weird, because the teachers were English teachers, another English English presentation. I did, I did a presentation on this weird technology that allowed um, people who had, who had lost sight completely, completely blind, uh, to see. Which is actually getting implemented now. Uh, and basically, at the time, the technology, you could basically just see inverted colors. Um, but I had, like, again, like, characters pop up and speech bubbles and stuff. And I think that one was Mr. Magoo and Nelly um, of the St. Lunatics, Nelly. And I, th I thought all this was such a good idea. It's so weird. I had no impulse not to do it. You know what I mean? 
Sometimes you're just like a dumb idiot who's like, all of this is a good idea. No part of me said, wait, pump the brakes on this. And the thing is, like, I would get good grades. My teachers loved those presentations. Um, and that one in particular, the one about the, like, the vision, the vi like, the weird ocular hookups, uh, the teacher didn't believe me. Uh, he, like, said, oh, okay, sure. Ocular implants, great. Great presentation, Kyle. And I'm like, no, it's real. He's like, okay, I'm gonna Google it right now. Let's check your sources. And he Googled it and it was all real. And then he was like, oh, okay. And then he gave me a really good grade. <laughs> oh, it felt good, man. I'm sure, I'm positive I did not present the technology accurately. There was great reason for him to be skeptical. Not only that, I, I presented it with Nelly and Mr. Magoo, right? Like. I'm making a mockery of this entire presentation, so yeah, he had every right to be skeptical. But I probably did not deserve- oh, that good grade. Okay, 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 we're fine, we're fine. We're gonna fit that L right in. Papa. oh, oh no, okay, we're not fine. This is bad. Oh, bummer. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks. Too high, Kyle. I know. I know, Chad. I know. And I was still slamming at that point, too. <laughs> Kyle, was Google really a thing when you were in high school? I remember Dogpile, Ask Cheese, and Yahoo. Yeah, Google was a thing when I was in middle school. It was cool. Uh, my gym teacher introduced us to Google. I distinctly remember being in the computer lab and our gym teacher is super confident about Google. He's like, it's in beta right now, but uh, it's got a really good algorithm for actually finding good results. So if you ever have to do any research for any reports or anything, check out Google. Google. And uh, that was, uh, yeah, I mean, he was right. That gym teacher, totally right. Yeah, G Google said beta for a long time. Um, definitely when I was in high school. So, okay, we're going to do one more of your choices, and then we're going to do uh, the credits to Tropical Freeze. All right, chat. Is the Blackwell Legacy a game? Is that real? Did he buy stock? He should have. Can you imagine my gym teacher, how rich he would have been? He would have been a millionaire. I don't think he was an investor. Okay, it is a game. Okay, we're playing it. NYU theme extended. Is it about college? Uh, Everybody Adores Sticks sent this one in. If my gym teacher invested five bucks, right? He'd be a millionaire. <laughs> This is pretty chilled out. Thank you, everybody, Door Sticks. What if he did? I think we would have known. Small town, right? I think that we would all know if he became a millionaire. He could be hiding it really well. Hey, I gotta hide my Google money. I can't have this much money. I can't be seen with this much money. I'd have to quit my job. They won't look at me the same. The, the students, the kids. Nobody wants a millionaire gym teacher. They want a gym teacher with nice sneakers, yes, but they don't want a millionaire gym teacher. It's hard to listen to that kind of guy. You can't relate. And what's funny is, in real life, this gym teacher, uh, he was really good at... Uh, like, leveling with us. Because basically, he's the guy who, like, uh, <laughs> to, like, get us to, like, level with him. It's like, alright guys, let's have a talk, let's have a talk. Um, 
shoot, I can't remember how he got into this. But he's like, uh... You know, you know... It, they say practice makes perfect, right? But that's wrong. Because if you practice wrong, you're not going to get perfect, right? And I see a lot of you out there. I see a lot of you out there, uh... You know, sticking out your tongues, like Michael Jordan, like... Ah, ah. <laughs> and when he does that, when he's like... We're all laughing. We're like, yeah, Michael Jordan does stick out his tongue. <laughs> I see a bunch of you, you like, you like, you all like Michael Jordan, right? Yeah, we'll reset that one. But, uh, I mean, here's the thing, everybody, like, if you're gonna practice, you gotta practice, right? <laughs> and he, he, that day, I think he was trying to teach us how to, uh, throw a basketball the right way. Is it a bit or not, Kyle? I feel like Brad right now. That was not a bit. That's that's tr true to life. It's like... Here we go. Here, here's a, a locked and loaded boss from the rant. It's a thing in movies where... The movie, the script, feels like if it tells you a fact just a random bit of trivia that is like makes the movie more interesting um i think the most common example would be like the royale with cheese right just you put in like a it's not even it has nothing to do with the characters it has nothing to do with the plot of the movie but it's just like here's a fact Ooh, oh oh dang okay all right all right um i think it's super cheap here's a little fact that, like, for some reason, some character tells another character. It's a cheap trick. Hey, what's this game about? Somebody said adventure game? That's rants worthy, all right. You know my, you know my locked and loaded rants are always hot topics. Just keep an eye out for it, Chad. It happens in so many movies. A completely irrelevant fact. It's not like um, 21 grams. It's like, hey man, do you know when you die, your body loses 21 grams? What's up with that? And that's like kind of what the movie's about. Um, just completely like stupid. Just like, I know a fact. That makes this movie smarter. Kyle, you're gonna go see the new Transformers movie. Uh, it'd have to be an impulse. Right now the impulse is low, but I can't, I can't rule it out. Cause I've seen the others. Uh, not all the others. I think I missed one. But it happens. There we go. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's some points. But will you see Cars 3? Not anymore. My ambition to see Cars lowered by... Eighty nine percent after last night's stream. Baby Driver. All right, chat. Watch Baby Driver and let me know if there's a fact in it. If there's a fact in Baby, Dr oh, I just blotched. I botched it so hard. You can't put that box there. I didn't want the box. If Baby Driver has a fact, I'm not gonna see it. Okay, so some people have already seen it. Is, is there a fact in Baby Driver? New music, I hear ya. Sorry, I, I, got, I get to mashing A sometimes when I'm like, feel cheated. What if Spider-Man Homecoming has a fact? It won't. Spider-Man Homecoming will not have a random fact. 
No way. Because here's the thing, if like Spider-Man is rattling off some facts, it's just because Peter Parker is a genius. He's just a super smart kid. Don't worry about it. Then it will it will reveal part of his character. Hey, did you know there's 41 kinds of honey? That's what it's like. Comedies do it, too. Comedies absolutely do it. Hey, man. What? You know. There's 41 kinds of honey. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah, dude. There's 41 kinds of honey. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> what is that comedy, by the way? <laughs> Hurry, man. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, no. You got me again, Tetris. Looks like you got me again. Ah. <sighs> She knows. I get the itchiest nose in the world. <laughs> Chat just checked. Apparently there's over 300 kinds of honey. Whoa. No good. Yes, 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 yes. Is that a thing? Do people just get itchy noses? I feel like that's not a thing. Did you see this? You hear this? Sometimes I get a, um, sometimes I get like an itchy nose. Is this relatable? Yeah. Does anyone have this? Does anyone else have like a nose that is like non-stop itchy? It's like it's like uh, I want to just I just want to be like Michael Jordan when he's like dunking, and I just I want to use I want to stick out my tongue like Michael Jordan, but I like want to I want to like lick my nose, like you know, <laughs> you know. It's like when Michael Jordan's dunking, he's always you know he's always he's always sticking his tongue out, and so like I just I want to I want to do that because my nose is so itchy. Class. I heard this guy's a millionaire. Yeah, that seems about right. Shut up, Teach. You could hire someone to lick your nose for you. I'm gonna keep throwing the basketball like I always do. Underhand. Ah, oh, please don't. How'd that get out? Well, you got sneakers that are nice, but not too nice. That was a good touch. But your biggest mistake, Teach. Is that earring on your right ear. But it's just a regular earring. Oh yeah, we know. Something you could get at hmm, Claire's. But here's the thing. That particular hole, that's the millionaire's hole. <laughs> the special part of the ear that only millionaires can get pierced, we know.
Who told you little creeps about the millionaire's hole? <laughs> Bunch of us Googled it by accident. <laughs> you faced it. You lost us. We're never coming back. And nobody wants a millionaire gym teacher. <sighs> Alright. I will resign. Cool. But just know, kids, I just, I just wanted to teach. Choose one. Millionaire or teacher. Because you can't have both. I choose teacher. All right, that's the end of that run. We're far below 200k. We're far beneath it. Kyle, what makes you sh I hacked a game in middle school to win a contest? Did you really? That's pretty cool. New music, please. Oh, absolutely. Okay. All right. Okay. We'll get some new tracks. One more track. And then I'll do my final run. It's weird. I don't I don't think we've ever had so many 400k plus runs. Oh, give me a break. All right. Again, good game. Good music. But is it Tetris music? The Last of Us theme. Extended version. From tune for tune. Oh my gosh. Last of Us. Smile. Smile. Last of Us. Smile. I'm your customer. You smile. This is good music, huh? Alright. Uh, S's and Z's. Kill me, dudes. Nice, Joey. You saved it. <laughs> L, L did a lot of heavy lifting there, too. Sorry. It was good teamwork. Sorry, I didn't see the line. I looked over and saw someone say this reminds me of Diablo music, and I totally get it. Ugh. All right, we got a Tetris. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, like, half of my attention is going to not itching my nose. Scratching my nose. You scratch because you itch. Tetris. You scratch because you itch. Kyle, what do you think the average age of chat is? Chad, I think it's so funny. 
I, it's gone. This comment about how mad someone gets when their brother uses itch instead of scratch. <laughs> okay, so looking at the data, seems like my estimate was correct. Also looking at the data, I gotta say, my RNG, a little whack tonight, using 41 for the average age and for the types of honey. I'm just as bad as Tetris, right? It's like, what, is that, are those the only, is that the only number you can think of? Come on, give me another number, I don't know. Leonard, it's like, oh, bad RNG, dude. Work on it. to work on your RNG. Come on, what's that? Your random number generator. Now this is the little TikTok in your mind that comes up with numbers when you need a new number. I don't understand. I go up, I tell my jokes. What do I need to come up with random numbers for? You're... <sighs> Shut up. You're always going to need a random number. Like what? I don't know. Is somebody's heckling you, you know? Or is somebody, you know, somebody's from out of town, right? You got to come up with some random numbers sometimes. Shut up. I know you're a million. <laughs> what kind of comedian uses the millionaire's hole? <laughs> okay, what, I just, what, you got me? I don't, I just, I have a passion for that. I want to keep telling jokes. You can't be a millionaire and tell jokes. Jokes come from pain. Okay. They, they don't come from a lapping milk out of your bath. Okay. I think I'm good on my own. Okay, I was just trying to help. Hey, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Great crowd. Beautiful crowd. Beautiful crowd. Darling, tell me where you're from. Tell me where you're from. Orlando. Orlando, huh? What is that like? Um, is that like a, a 300 miles away? Shut up, you suck. Uh, uh, no, where are you from, sir? Where are you from? Uh, from uh, Topeka, from Kansas. Alright. What's the temperature there? Like, like, uh, is it something like uh, 300 degrees? <laughs> <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, chat, I guess you know I got a thing for bits with comedians who can't be creative. I've got a thing for it. What can I say? 
<laughs> oh, that was some good cleanup right there. That was some really good cleanup. We should be proud of that. I'm gonna do a little nose scratch for that. Okay. Okay. That was some truly good cleanup. Level 13? Okay, we'll pump the brakes. We'll do it. Yeah, it's already fast. Look at that. It's too fast. Bad frame rate. box. We needed you, bud. Joey? No Joey. Yeah, I lost faith. Had to. Had to. I lost faith. Nice Joey. There's a good Joey. There's a good one. There's a good Joey! Good Joey. And that triple triple, super helpful. So generous. That was some true Sweeney magic. We're not out of the woods yet, but that truly helped out. When you hear praise of Sweeney, that is what they're talking about. That triple triple. Cleanup crew. Good work, team. tried again we got stumped we got stumped uh dh rocks 16 months in a row greed was that greed island i don't know carl what do you think the average age is of everyone named kyle bossman i'll say 35 i'll say i'll say 35 so greedy at level 17 okay you're right and i was still slamming too for sure Org Knox, 16 months in a row. Yeah, that's the thing is we got it clean, but we weren't completely set. And when I tried to completely set it, we just didn't get the right pieces. It sucked. Okay, whatever. Still, again, like 400k, baby. I'll put the gif up. This is, I think, easily the most 400k runs we've ever had. Gift's gone. Time to get a good score. Kyle, have you ever had an Italian beef sandwich? No. Mm, okay. 
Too many boxes. Not welcome. I can take that box. And that one. Uh, this is from Tropical Freeze, everybody. This is the, uh, this is that, uh, David Wise. Just crushing it. This is the ending credits music. This is, uh, best video game music you've probably ever heard in your life. It does not get better than this. peaks right here in this track. It's like seeing, witnessing all of humanity. By the way, that was some slick stuff. Condensing everything we've ever accomplished into like, what, five minutes? Beautiful. Sorry, got to, got to burn him. Back on track, baby. What is the best thing you could say about Tropical Freeze? It's a good question. It's all super good. Vibes. I think it could all well easily be lumped into good vibes. Because you can toss the music in there. You can toss the level design in there toss the DK in there. It's all just it's good vibes. I almost did context, but that might rule out like this jam right here. I want to throw everything in that in that bucket. I just go ahead and throw everything in that bucket. The salamanders, the frogs, the snakes, armadillo, throw them all in that bucket. The coyotes, the muskrats, woodchucks, throw them all in that bucket. The rabbits, the felines, throw them in that bucket. <laughs> Stupid. And it sounds a lot like Sling Blade, you know? It's just like it sounds like a bad Sling Blade. Not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Don't even do it. Just see Sling Blade? Isn't it funny how he says taters? Watch me do it. <laughs> now watch me do this. Ace Ventura. Now watch me do it. Do not go in there. <laughs> you see Billy Madison? Now watch me do it. <laughs> That's it. That's it, everybody. Like, all right. Good comedy. Kyle, from what I can find, there's only one person in the USA that has the name Kyle Bossman. Uh, I don't think that's true. Um, I think there's like a dirt bike racer named Kyle Bossman. And there was someone who got arrested also named Kyle Bossman. He used to appear if you Googled my name back in the beta phase, but um, 
Not anymore, baby. I'm dominating that front page of Kyle Bossman's. Um, I think there are, uh, at least one, there's at least one Kyle Bossman in South Africa. I shouldn't say that. Don't go looking for the other Kyle Bossmans, please. I'm just saying it's not a totally unique name. Gangs in New York. Yeah. Now watch me do it. That's a kill. That's a kill. It's really good, dude. Thanks. Double, double. Thank you, Tim Hortons. Delicious, delicious. Oh, quite delicious, Optimus. Oh, Optimus, you're late to my party. Listen to Wise crush this right now. This is a fun run, huh? I realize it's not quite the heights that we've reached already in uh, tonight's stuff, but uh, I like it. Yeah, we're just on a fun run this weekend. Oh, sloppy. A little too much movement. I gotta watch it, you know? That might be the caffeine, right? Just a little fun run. It's gonna be fun. We're bringing the dogs. Hey, have you seen Fun Run? Mm -hmm. Now watch me do it. Hey, we're just, we're just going on a fun run. We're bringing the dogs. It's really good, dude. Post office panic. No, what is that? It's a movie where like they're having problems at the post office. No. Is it serious? No, it's a drama dummy. Oh. Do you wanna see me do it? I'm not really I'm not really gonna get it. Like, I'm not gonna, if you're doing jokes from the movie, I'm not gonna get it. But they're still fun. It's, it's a, like, it's a funny movie. Watch me do it. Fine. Hey. Did you know there's 41 kinds of honey? Dude, that is funny. Tell you, dude, you want to go rent it? Yeah. So they get on their bikes. Uh, cause the red box is like, it's, a, it's within biking distance. You can totally just bike to the red box. It's not too far away. Their moms don't care. Um, they go to pick up post office panic, but it's out. Out of stock. 
And so then they're thinking, like, how far should we drive, Ryder Blakes, to go find Post Office Panic? Like, there is another red box that's like two miles away, so they figure, alright, let's do it. And, uh, you know, it takes a while, but not too long. They get to another red box, it's outside of CVS. And uh, they click over to Post Office Panic, and it's sold out there too. And now they're thinking, like, it makes you want it more. When something becomes this rare, like, now you gotta have it, right? You gotta watch Post Office Panic. You know other people are enjoying it, you know. It's popular now. So, um... They go a little further, right? There's another CVS about 10 miles away. Come on, L, it's your night. Where are you? Actually, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. And there's L. Very nice. Clean up. Cleaned up. Very, very nice. You clean up well. Okay. Yes, yes, and then I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I got greedy. I know it. I know I got greedy. I'll stop. We'll play it cool. So they get to Irwinville, the Ir Irwinville CVS, and yeah, obviously sold out. And there's a guy right outside. He's saying, "Hey." Psst. You're looking for a post office pen? You're like, yeah. Oh, bummer. Hey, it's still our best run of the night. Still our best run of the night. No bits at level 20, sorry. Uh, honestly, it was it was too high. We started level 20 too high. All those squares, yeah. Too many boxes. Still our best run. It was a good night of Tetris chat. I realized we didn't get close, but like, that's a, that's a good lineup. If we had 10 more weeks of Tetris, I'd feel a lot better about it. But you know, we have two more. That was week 50. That was week 50. Yeah, that's a good lineup, right? That's probably one of our highest averages of all time. Consistently over 400k is great. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, can't be hurt. Uh, so the guy outside the Irwindale CBS uh, is a local actor. And so what he did for the boys, he took $5 from each of them, and then he, like, put on, a, like, a one-man play of Post Office Panic. And he had those two boys cracking up. They loved it. And so what they did for basically the rest of the summer is they would ride their bikes to Irwindale and pay this guy 5 bucks to, like, put on plays for them. And, like, for the first week, it was Post Office Panic. They just wanted to see that one straight. Um, but then he had other stuff, too. And so uh, they would watch him put on, you know, like, um, other comedies. And then some dramedies. Some stuff where, like, some stuff gets a little serious sometimes. And he handled that stuff respectfully. And so they were curious. And he, he, would, end up do, he would end up transitioning into dramas. And, you know, the kids would get so into it, they would cry sometimes. They would watch this man and they would cry. Um, but then school started again and they couldn't bike to go see their favorite actor every day. And 
the first weekend of September. You know, school started. You know where they, they went straight to Irwindale. And their favorite guy was not across from the Red Box. And they went to the CVS and they said, hey, where's where's Tomas? Um, and they said he got sad. <laughs> he got sad and stopped showing up. The end. He thought the kids <laughs> didn't want to see him anymore. And they had no way to contact him. <laughs> and, you know, he shows up on the second day and suddenly he feels stupid, you know? Poor Tomas, he shows up and the kids aren't there. And he's like, what am I doing? What have I been doing all summer? Just putting on plays for some kids. And so he stopped showing up. I pr Look, we started the stream. I said it gets dark. You know, I promised you. I, I warned you. Bosnia Wozniak gets dark. And, you know, it's not all rainbows and lollipops. It's not. Sometimes you get a sad ending. Is it high score or score? Sorry, chat up. Right, yeah, I, I lost you because uh, I'm going to try to figure out who gets to pilot the Baron tonight. Right, 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 right. Okay, all right. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, weird. Oh, I guess it's not. It looked like Elite Speak how close this person was. This person's very close. About 1,500 off tonight's high score. Pretty good bet. Pretty good bet. Okay. And then I'm going to have to enter that name. Uh, right there. Right there. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then we're going to do a little B-type. Kyle, would you consider making a show telling weird stories like you always did in Boston v. Wozniak? Uh, No. That would, that would simply be too weird. If I just sit in the chair and tell you all stories, that's too weird for me. I need this weird context of Tetris. I, look, I know it's already very weird. But I don't want to be a Tomas, you know what I mean? See, chat, this is the issue I've been having all night long. Like, we had some really good runs, but I've been having this issue tonight where I just, like, dump pieces in the worst possible way. And that was weird. Weird night. Like, we had very good runs, but they all ended... Well, I wouldn't say all, but many of them ended needlessly, you know? If this was baseball, those would be considered errors. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, alright. You win, B-Type. You got me. I made too many errors. Again, again, that was bad. That piece went right there where I just put that T. That's where it goes. So yeah, we had some good scores, but something was a little off. One of, you know, the 30 skills you need to be good at Tetris was off. Yeah, a few weeks ago, we'd be dancing to have 4,800. Sorry, 480. 100. 1,000? 480,000. This week, it's not enough. I'm not dancing. Oh, boxes. You got me again, boxes.
Um, I guess actually the the other good one we do have a happy ending is that mom who had to stop her daughter uh, who had to go stop the uh, science army she totally did uh, she and her girlfriend they did it um, and the best part was the daughter never knew she did not recognize them be and because the code the code names paid off and so that one that one is rainbows and lollipops that one's all good. Are there any other weird loose ends we gotta tie up? I think we're pretty good. Uh, werewolf bungalow. <laughs> Look, if I told you the end of Werewolf Bungalow, you wouldn't get it. <laughs> I, had, I had barely laid all of the groundwork, you know? Like, it just, it wouldn't make sense out of context. Ooh, hey, I didn't realize we were done already. Okay. All right, all right. Cool. So, tonight's Baron Pilot is, wait for the end of the song. We'll wait. Home Alone. I'll always think of Home Alone. Okay, here we go. Dial Murder for M. I really like that name. 1,557 points off. You pegged it. You knew exactly somehow that we would have a great night of 400Ks. That we'd reach the 480,000, sure. But you knew we wouldn't touch 500,000. And for that premonition, that mastery of guessing, you pilot. Congratulations, and Godspeed. That was fun, everybody. Fun to play Tetris. Did I go three hours? <laughs> Bloodworth's in chat saying Tekken 7 review soon. Yeah, I think I went three hours, didn't I? Kyle, just do a stream of PowerPoint presentation where you tell short stories with speech bubbles. That's a good idea, Wolf Daddy. That's a good idea. Um, that was fun, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. I'm not going to do that. Uh, Kyle, is it? No, I'm not, it's not. We didn't beat Waz. I'm not telling you my middle name. We didn't do it. We lost again. Two weeks left, everybody. Uh, we have the Spider-Man bet was wrong. What are you talking about? What's Spider-Man bet? You need to give me more context. Um, oh yeah, absolutely. We'll do a poem. We'll do all that stuff. Um, I gotta find my book though. Where'd I put it? Book? Kiki. Kiki. Book. Kiki. Book. Kiki. Book. Okay, I found it. It was, actually, it was actually in a good spot. It was actually in a great spot. Okay, uh, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, the Spider-Man bet was not wrong. Okay, um, where's the Tetris lamp? I should have plugged it in. You got to see this thing. It's so cool. Um, actually, I had the book in a great spot. I, I could see it's within my eye line right here. But you know what? I had to search around anyway. Okay. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, tomorrow, Michael Huber is streaming a complete, full playthrough of the original God of War on PlayStation 2. That's a good game. That's a good game, a complete story. Just from here to here to here to here to here. Cool. Cool escalation. Cool. I dig it. I dig it big time. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's, and Huber is, you know, great at full playthroughs. Um, that was not a Huber impression. No, 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 no. That was a, here's a radio trick, everybody. 
If you spend a long time trying to think of one word, whoa, that was Dial Murder for M's first time being able to watch it live. That's sick. Well done. Well done, Dial Martyr. Good name, too. Um, radio trick. If, if you have a hard time searching for a word and it creates a pause in the sentence, like, um, do you know there is 41 kinds of syrup? Um, so basically, you use that gap forward. And so it's like, you know there's 41 kinds of syrup so you you use those pauses to cr that's that's the new rhythm of your sentence it's basically what I, that's basically the message if you spend a long time thinking of a word or a person's name um it's like when uh it's like when michael jordan is sticking his tongue out so people don't know that you were having a hard time remembering Michael Jordan's name, basically. It sounds like you, you were doing that deliberately. Kyle, no facts, please. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to help out. If any of you want to be like a DJ sometime, just trying to help out. <laughs> Look, I'm just here to teach. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's the, the t upcoming Twitch schedule. Monday, I'll be playing some more Mega Man Legends, and I very much look forward to that. Uh, look, we have two more weeks of Bosman v. Wozniak. That's pretty rough. Um, it's got to end. I said it would end, and so it must. Um, the thing is, the replacement stream isn't starting at the end of Bosman v. Wozniak. And so I think Friday nights are going to be pretty chilled out RPG nights, is what my guess is going to be. Uh, up until Box Peak is finished. And then once Box Peak is finished, and then we can do uh, the Boston v. Wozniak replacement. Which should be fine. Um, uh, yeah, end of an era. Yeah, maybe we'll bring it back like a year later or something. You know what I mean? I don't want to rule out the return of Boston v. Wozniak, but uh, yeah, it's going to end. You <laughs> review Boston confirmed? No, not on Friday nights. Yeah, maybe not Friday nights. We'll see. No, it'll probably still be Friday nights. I like Friday nights. Friday night fights. So wait, do we like... You actually like the idea of RPGs on Friday nights? I thought you'd all be bummed about it. Okay. Yeah, it's a season break. That's, that's exactly what it is. It's like summertime, you know what I mean? Survivor's on. Yeah, it's exactly like that. So you think you can dance his back. It feels like that. Um... Just stream the setup for Box Peak. No, 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 absolutely not. Uh, let me tell you about Box Peak. You're right. I should explain that to anybody who doesn't know what that is. That is a uh, series I'm working on through Easy Allies. I mean, don't. I mean, it's been funded, so I mean, I don't have to promote it too much. But it's just something to look forward to. Yeah, basically, I'm going dark on that until it's finished. Don't, please don't expect updates um, until it's completely done, and then I'll be here and tell you it's done. Here it is. Enjoy this. Okay. Um, so, check out EasyAllies.com, though, to see what the Easy Allies are. It's not just me playing Tetris on Friday nights, and then eventually RPGs, and then eventually something else. Uh, it is a group of people who do streams and videos about video games, podcasts we're talking about, reviews we're talking about. Do you wonder how many stars Tekken 7 is? You're going to find out soon, thanks to Easy Allies. We do weird stuff, too. Lots of weird stuff. Uh, and lots of normal stuff. It's cool. It's a good mix of weird and normal. All about video games. Um, please clarify the Beach House stream. Absolutely. In uh, August, we are the Easy Allies, this group of people I just told you about, where you go to easyallies.com to see who they are and what kind of videos they do. Um, we uh, are going to rent a beach house. Look, the beach part isn't important to me anyway. Um, basically the idea is we're all going to be living in a house together for three days and we're never going to stop streaming the whole time. We're going to be playing video games for 50 hours straight. Uh, please don't watch the whole thing. Uh, just choose your favorites. <laughs> Look at our schedule and say, oh, that looks good, that looks good, and that looks good. And s sleep for the rest of it. I'll be sleeping. I'm not going to stay awake for the full 50 hours. I'll be, I'll be hitting the couch. Don't worry about it. Um... What about Box Peak? I just explained it. Oh, because that's August as well. Yeah, we'll find time. Don't worry about it. 
Yeah, and so that's a cool thing that's coming up. Uh, check out patreon.com slash easy allies to see how you might be able to support the easy allies because that's how we function. We function through Patreon, through people like you donating money to us to do what we do, basically. It's not even basically, that's, that's how we do it. <laughs> um, that's how we persist and exist, uh, which is fun. Will there be face cam for sleeping? Okay, you know what, chat? I think, to be frank with you, as as Easy Allies tends to do, we all have different visions of what this should be. <laughs> we all have different ideas for what uh, uh, easy living should be. Um, you know, I I absolutely just want one camera and just to be playing video games the whole time. Uh, others of us would like to do more weird stuff and have cameras all over and uh, add a narrative to it and things like that. Surprisingly, I'm the one who doesn't want bits with this. I think it's enough, because that's the thing. It's about putting hats on hats, right? It's enough that we're at a beach house streaming for 50 hours. That's that's already weird. That's already like a, a unique thing. It doesn't need more on top of it, but uh, we'll see, you know. We'll see what kind of influence I have as the voice of reason here. <laughs> it might be insane. It might what I, what we end up streaming might be insane. We'll see. Um, cool. Anyway, um, that's the upcoming schedule. That's our two websites. I think it might be time for a poem. Voice of treason is that? Voice of reason. Hear the voice of reason. All right. Stupid. Okay. Is that something? Okay, so we go to page 39. Hey, we had some good Tetris tonight. Kyle, how is Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon? It's 15 bucks. Absolutely good. Totally worth 15 bucks. Um, I shouldn't be so hard on myself. We had some good Tetris tonight. You know. Um, those are like consistently good runs. It's just I had that one problem almost every time where I just put a piece in a wrong spot in a weird way. All right, um, page 39. So we're looking at uh, a poem by Wayne Utterback with art by Jai Alder. All right, here we go. called Sometimes Joey, and here's the art. Um, Joey's at a club and says, sorry, babe, Kyle needs me. Meaning he can't enjoy the club because he's, he knows he's needed. By the way, uh, GCDDCG, four months in a row. Thank you so much. Okay, let's do it. Poem time. <clears throat> Sometimes Joey. I don't really know where you came from. But I ask myself all the time how you are just what I need, a perfect fit for an imperfect line. But other days you are a beast, a cold and ghastly creature. Your prowess in wrecking my life shows your lack of demeanor. Your power comes from your unpredictability, a trait I do admire the ability to do both good and bad. Every man's desire. Sometimes you don't know when to stop. Sometimes you don't even care. Sometimes you push when I need a pull. Sometimes you never appear. Sometimes you laugh silently up against a flat T. Sometimes you snuggly settle in against the jagged line of things. But in the times that are just to the sometimes, you are always one thing. Sometimes, all the time, you are sometimes Joey. Yeah, you know what? That's accurate for tonight, too. We didn't have any of those long Joey droughts. There's some times where I just lose because I was waiting for Joey for too long. But yeah, it's a good poem. Okay, two more weeks, everybody. Two more weeks. I'm stressing. No, no need to stress. Fun night. Fun night at Tetris. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great weekend, everybody. Hope to see you next week. Uh, 
and love and respect. I'm going to mute my microphone. I'm going to give you the best music Tetris has to offer, and I'm going to wave you good night. Let's do those in order.